Yeah, so I had picked up what I thought I would want to use in the Fenty collection. Um, so I have everything here. I got her beauty sponge. Um, it comes in this little box here. And I already wet it. So I think from what it looks like, I like the flat side here. It has a flat side. It's very comparable to the beauty blender, but this side is very flat. And it'll be easy to carve out your cheek and to contour and to set everything. So I really like this and I like the way that it feels. The foundation that I got was shade 310. Now I did order this on Sephora.com but I went on the Fenty Beauty um, website and they had like a color match there. So the model that looked closest to my complexion was 310 and I also seen a couple of reviews of people so I kind of guessed shit I have not played with anything I've been waiting to do this video for you guys of my first impression so this is really a first impression so I really hope this is the right color this is what the bottle looks like once again this is the shade 310 I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Now right off the bat, it looks pretty runny. And it does look kind of orangey. So I'm really hoping that this is the right color for me. I'm going to apply it with a brush a little bit and then I'll go on with the beauty blender. Now that was one pump, I'm going to do another pump on my hands. Now the other reviews that I've seen said that this dries up pretty fast. So... You gotta kind of work it in quickly. I'm gonna pick up the rest of the foundation that's on my hand and then blend it in. This does look kind of orange, but I'm hoping once I blend it in, it will match. This is a light coverage. I would say this is medium coverage. I'm going to see if I can add a little, another layer and see how it'll look. Because I have some pigmentation here that it didn't cover up a lot. So I will go in with a second layer. So that this video wasn't too, too long, I had already did my eyebrows. If you'd like to see how I do my eyebrows, I'll leave the video linked down below so that you can view that tutorial. Okay, so the first layer is on. I don't know if you can see that I have still a little bit of pigmentation here that it did not cover up. A little bit of pigmentation here, but this side is worse than the other one. I don't know how I feel about this foundation yet. Everything's blended in. I'm going to go in with another layer and see if I can cover this up. The shade looks like it matches pretty good. It's not too dark and it's not too light. And the orange kind of like blended in so it's not too orangey anymore. 
So I'm going to go on with the second layer. So the second layer is going on pretty good. It's not looking patchy or anything. Because once you start adding layers of foundations, depending on the foundation, it can look cakey. And this is not doing that at all. So looking in the mirror close up, I really like how this looks on my skin. It looks like my skin but better. Like you can't even barely tell that I have foundation on. It did cover up a little bit more of the pigmentation but I feel like if I needed to I would go in with a little bit of concealer here to spot conceal a little bit but it did really good coverage and I really like how it looks so far I did see a couple reviews that this oxidizes so we'll see how this looks towards the end of the video but as of now I feel like I, this is a good match and I really like how it looks on my skin so this is the foundation I did not get the um the concealer matchstick because I seen a couple reviews and I really didn't like how it looked. It was kind of dry. I like my concealer to be full coverage and to be creamy. And from what I seen, it was not full coverage and it was not creamy. So I didn't want to buy the matchstick if I wasn't gonna use it. And I definitely wasn't gonna buy the bundle that comes with the highlighter, the concealer, and the um. The contour stick if I wasn't going to use it. So the contour stick for tan skin, the medium, I did not get because it looks kind of light. So this is the um, truffle. I'm going to apply a little bit to my face where I normally would contour. This is the deep cocoa color. It's not too warm. It's a kind of a neutral color. So I'm going to apply it in the places where I usually contour. I'm going to use the Morphe M436. So blend it in. See how it does. So right off the bat, it's blending in pretty easily with the brush. It's not leaving behind any streaks, which I do not like with a lot of contour sticks. So this definitely isn't leaving any streaks. I definitely find that when I got to this part, it's not blending as easily. I guess it dries pretty fast because I had started around the edge of the perimeters of my face and now it's not blending as easily. So with this, you have to work pretty quickly too.
I'm really liking the how this blended I like the color I'm really glad that I didn't go with the medium because I think the medium contour stick would have been a little bit too light for me so the tan color really looks good on my skin my ride or die concealer the Maybelline New York in the color sand and I'm going to conceal the places that I would normally conceal. Not by the um. The primer, I usually don't use primer on my face. So I don't want to get it if I was the one to use it, even for the sake of the video. I did moisturize my skin really well. But yeah, on a daily, I don't use primer. I'm really loving the sponge. It's really, really soft. It's softer than the Beauty Blender. And it's cheaper than the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is about $20. I know this one was probably like $15 or $16. And the Beauty Blender is like $20. I am liking how my concealer is on top of the foundation. It's not looking patchy or anything. So I'm really liking that. If my eyes look kind of red, my I wear contacts for those who don't know. And my contacts are really bothering me today. And I would not be able to do this tutorial for you guys without my contacts in because I am blind. So I'm really liking how everything applied. I like the foundation. It looks very natural. I'm liking the color of the contour shade. It blended in really well. And I like how my concealer applied on top of the foundation. Now, Rihanna doesn't have a setting powder but she does have the Invisimat blotting powder and I'm going to use this to set my concealer even though it's a blotting powder there are no rules in makeup and you can use the blotting powder to set your makeup. I'm going to use the Real Technique setting brush so when you open this up there is a mirror and there's this little thing which I never use, but I might just keep it in there just in case. There's a little plastic sheet on here. So I'm going to throw that out. Now, I don't know if you can tell, this is looking kind of pearly, pinky. It's not straight up white and it's not translucent. So I'm really scared how this is going to look. Now on the back of my head, it does look clear, so let's just see how this works. Now compared to this side, this has really like mattified my under eye. There's no color. So even though the powder is white or pink, it doesn't come off that way on the skin. That has really mattified my under eye. 
I think this will be really good for oily skin. To touch up your makeup throughout the day. Yeah, like I had a little bit of shiny here. And as soon as I put it on, like it completely removed all of it. It's completely matte right now. I'm really liking this powder. So that's that. Any eyeshadows? Um, so I'm gonna use one of the highlighters. The two highlighters that I got are Me, Money, and Hustle Baby, mm -hmm. and I had got Trophy Wife. So I'm gonna swatch these for you. So I took the clear film off. It has a little mirror up here, and this is Me, Money. Is this one here the less shimmery one and then hustler baby is this one so I'm gonna swatch it for you that's mean money and then this is hustler baby right next to it so hustler baby is definitely more pigmented and this is mean money so this one is a duo, and then this one is Trophy Wife. It has the FB for Fenty Beauty, and this is so pretty. Damn, this is pigmented. I'm going to swatch it here. Like, you could definitely see the difference compared to the other three. So Trophy Wife, Hustler Baby, and Me Money. I definitely want to do Trophy Wife on my eyelids. I'm going to take the MAC 224 and I'm going to put a little bit of contour on my eyelid. Like that. Oh, do you guys see this? Like, I'm using this as an eyeshadow, but this is supposed to be a highlighter. Do you see the pigmentation on this? Like, I've seen reviews and I've seen pictures and I've seen it on Riri's cheek, but to actually get a brush and put it on my eyelid, like, this is such a beautiful color oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so pretty like i i don't know if you could like see it uh i don't think the camera is gonna do its justice y'all you have to if it's one thing that you get out of this video this is definitely the thing you gotta go pick up like oh my it is so pretty like I feel like I should be walking on the red carpet or something like this color mm. I really do. I feel like a trophy wife right now. Like, it does have fallout, which I'm gonna clean it up. But this color is beautiful, guys. It's like 
gold and yellow and green and oh my gosh and it goes on so smooth and the thing is is i seen her galaxy collection eyeshadows and i swatched them at sephora and i was like mm, do i need this no nah. the colors were not really appealing to me if all her eyeshadows would have been as nice as this i would have picked up that palette but it's something about this it's something about this trophy wife <sighs> lord this is such a beautiful beautiful color like for real i didn't put any fix plus on this guys you know what i'm gonna go get some fix plus i got the milani make a last setting spray i don't know how much more pigment pigmented this can be but i'm gonna try it out so i'm gonna spray my brush this this just gave me life right now y'all y'all do not understand oh my gosh and when you wet it it becomes a little bit foiled yeah yeah you got it yeah y'all gotta get this mm. y'all gotta get it. trophy wife I, I'm like going ham right now with this eyeshadow. And funny thing is, is I'm not even going nowhere. Once I do this video, I'm going to take me a picture and take this right off. But um, I might have to go to sleep in this eyeshadow though. You see the pigmentation of this eyeshadow. So I didn't know my camera had shut off. I had applied my lashes and my eyeliner and some um, mascara. Like, this is like, It's gonna be in my monthly favorites already and this is my first time using it like y'all do not understand i do not know if the camera does its justice but this color i could just imagine being out at a restaurant in a club somewhere in the night scene and just this color it's going to be this shit. Now, it'd be a little bit too much to use under my brow. So, then that's where I'm going to use the other um, eyeshadow or the other highlighter palette. I'm going to go on with the shade Me Money, which is the less shimmery color of the um, duo. And I'm going to use this under. Now, it's a little subtle highlight. Oh, a little. A little something something under there now a trick when you do your under um your highlight you have to put it like at the tip right here don't bring it all the way under your whole under your eyebrow like tacky so just get a little bit and just put it like right right there right under the arch It's a cute little everyday highlight. Now for my cheek highlight, I'm gonna use my Sigma F35 tapered highlighting brush and I'm gonna go on with the other one which is Hustler Baby. 
Hustler baby. This is a very, very pretty tool. Like, girl, I know I said I wasn't going to be going nowhere, but um, I might just have to go somewhere because this is a waste of some highlight and beatness. Can you go? I don't know if you can see it. This color is so pretty too. I'm just gonna be like, I don't want him. With all this highlight all over my face. Look, it is so pretty though, like, oh, Rihanna, I cannot wait to see what, oh, she comes up with this line. Like, I've been getting carried away with these highlighters, I forgot to set my contour, which it doesn't really look like it needs setting, but I always set my contour. So I'm going to go on with my um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to set the contour just a little bit. I'm going to take away a little bit of the highlight I look like a Christmas ornament over here. Like, look at this highlight. Everything is beautiful from Mean Money to Hustler Baby to Trophy Wife. Like, it is a perfect combination. I'm loving it. I did pick up her gloss warm, gloss warm, and then I did the only thing that I did pick up in her Galaxy collection was. The Cosmic Gloss in the shade Space Suit. So I got Gloss Warm and Space Suit. So I'm going to use Gloss Warm first. I'm going to line my lips first with Jordana Lip Liner in Rock and Rose. So I'm going to use Gloss Warm, and this is what it looks. It looks like a very neutral color. This is the only color she came out with, so supposedly it's universal for no matter what skin tone it is. And yes. This smell is a very familiar smell, like candy, a jolly, it's some candy I used to eat back in the day that smells just like this. And I don't remember what it's called, but this is a very pretty color. I really like this look, girl. So originally, I was just going to do the review on the original Fancy Collection that came out the first time around. Do you see this? But since I want to be extra right now, I'm feeling like a diva. I'm going to go ahead and use Space Suit, which is part of her Galaxy Collection. 
and this is what it looks like it's very sparkly and shimmery I'm just gonna put this on the center to see center my ass I put it all over my lips. I don't care. And it don't even match. I'm being real extra tonight. Just to go nowhere though. It's a very pinky shimmery color. It's very, very pretty. I did swatch this on the back of my hand at Sephora, but... I really like how it shows on the lips. <laughs> yes, girl. Look. Do you do you see? I am really feeling myself. Yes. <laughs> so I have tried out the majority of this Fenty collection and I'm really loving the foundation. It looks very natural. It did not oxidize on my skin at all. Shade 310 is my perfect match, I feel like. It looks very natural. I did have to go in with the second coat because I do have hyperpigmentation here on my cheeks, but it doesn't look like I did two coats, you feel me? It looks very, very natural. I do also like the contour stick. I'm loving Trophy Wife. You know what? Because I'm being extra. I'm going to use this on my cheeks as a highlighter. Yeah, I probably will not put this much highlight when I go out in public, y'all, but because <sighs> I'm with the shits tonight, I'm with the shits tonight, I'm with the shits. <sighs> Do you see? Do you see this? Do? Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm done playing with this. Overall, I really recommend everything. Our highlighters are bomb. The foundation is bomb. The contour stick is bomb. And the lip gloss is warm.